I'm really angry about that one. <laughs> wow. My phone cord hit the home button on Instagram and ended my life. <laughs> Hi, my name is Lena. Welcome to Bedtime Crafting. I would be lying to say that I'm not medium over it. Okay. I'll wait a couple minutes, see if you guys come on back. Hollow transfer. I don't know about this stuff. Uh, what is this? Hello, hello. Uh, we gonna find out. I'm about to learn something new. How goes it? How goes it? Welcome, welcome. We are having, I'm having a night, okay? I've had some real, like, medium technical difficulties. Just, you know, you be ready to kind of throw the, so what happened is that my phone, my microphone cord hit the home button on my phone and ended my life. I have an attitude. I'm really upset about this. So I wonder, because I know like the Cricut foil sheets are meant to be used specifically with the Cricut foil tool. Um, and it's like that these are pressure based. So I, I want to see something. Um, I spent my money and now I'm finna use it. Oh dear. Oh dear is right. So that's my sister-in-law and my daughter. When things happen, she goes, oh dear. All right. So this is just, these are just the Cricut foil sheets. Just regular degular. Oh, it really... Okay, so these really, so I'm assuming that the foil tool is really pressurized. And that's how that works. So this is, these sheets are like, these are the, propri the proprietary Cricut sheets that are meant specifically to be used with the foil transfer tool. And are, um, these are pressure based, not heat based like other foiling techniques are. Okay. Okay. So we solved that problem. I, I tinkered around with it, whatever. Okay, so I've got two different foils. I've got some mink foil that I bought from Joanne 800 years ago. And then I bought this foil from the waste shed. Now, this is somebody's screen supply company. I don't even know. I don't even know. Let's just, let's get into it. My laminator smells like heat. Okay, so it's ready to go. All right. <laughs> Just, uh, I miss this. I miss you guys. Hey, yes, I did. I bought it 800 years ago. Um, also, I am uh, I'm halfway through my pregnancy. I'm officially 20 weeks today. So I have hit that that spot when you get a little bit more energy. Um, so I'm hoping that, uh, you know, I can at least keep this up for I'm, my goal is to have a live for the next four weeks. So I'm probably going to start pivoting instead of doing it every week. I'm going to start doing it in like four week chunks. So it'll be a season, if you will. Y'all, I can't open this foil. OK, let's let's try this again. All right. But this is I'm just having one of those. Oh, cool. That's all right. It's OK. I'm dusty. I'm a little rusty, okay? I'm getting back into it. And we're gonna figure this out. <laughs> oh, you've already lost the, see, but that's why I said these are gonna be four weeks. Cause I'm gonna do four weeks on and two weeks off. Because I don't even know what life is gonna look like when the little Bambino arrives, okay? So I have to take all that into consideration. So yeah. All right, and so this is the mink foil. I just wanna see what it looks like on the other side. Oh, they look fairly similar. Okay, so this is the mink foil on the other side. So this is heat activated. So I'm gonna assume that this other foil is heat activated as well because that looks similar. This looks similar on the back side, right? So I've got two ideas. 
I've got the embossing pen. I need my, there you go. I've got the emboss it pen, which is the, it's not quite toner. It's like embossing ink, but I feel like maybe we can get away with this acting like toner. I don't know. So let me tell you, I want, I do not know the gender. My husband does not want to know the gender, but I do. So even when I find out, I'm going to just not say nothing. So it's just the baby. Y'all will find out when the baby show up because that's when he want to find out. Okay, so we're going to, let me see. I'm going to get it right here. Make sure it's not dry. All right, we're just going to, we're just going to do a real pretty test. T, E, S, T. Okay, we got options. So this is test one. All right. Can you see that? Test one, do you know what you're having yet? Okay. Oh, you know what I don't have? Scissors. Let me grab some scissors. So we are, I'm gonna do both of these heat transfer foils, uh, but I'm gonna like swatch it, if you will. So I'm gonna go ahead, oh, okay. Cut that off. And this foil is really pretty. I just, you know, I got this roll, like I said, from the Waste Shed, which is like a thrift store for crafts and art supplies for $7. I think this might've been like $9.99. This is the Mink brand. A little bit more expensive. It's pretty, but like, I like a little bit of bang for my buck, okay? Oh, then, you know, mum's the word. All right, let me bring my camera back so you guys can see what I'm doing. So this first run through is just gonna be with the emboss it pen. And then we're gonna try foiling with the stamp pen, this ink. Cause I feel like I wouldn't have bought this much ink for just embossing. Yeah, no. <laughs> I'm a lot of things. I'm all for multi-use tools, okay? So let's go back to find our test. So this is the Atlas one. Okay, that's Atlas. This is Heidi Swap, all right. Let's get a little bit of, let's cut off a little corner there. Okay, so Atlas, Heidi Swap, I think I might need the, uh, it's got like a, a laminating sleeve. That way, like when you send it through your laminator or like if you had the mink foiling machine, when you send it through, it's got like a folder that you put on there for safety. Let me grab mine. Hold on. Whoops. Let me tell you guys something. We're going to get through tonight. I'm going to get through it. I'm going to get through it. Okay, I know where they are. Hold on. A brief intermission. put yourself in a situation you say I'm not gonna panic yes thank you that's it and that's exactly what I went and grabbed too because I couldn't find my um I bought the sheets I bought the um like the mink specific like folders or whatever but of course now that I need it I can't find it um so 
Shout out to Naomi. Who, you know, Naomi came through a while ago when I first started doing lives with a Cricut Design Space iPad hacks. Because those are a thing. And we'd be needing to know. So I've got my regular piece of paper as a carrier sheet. We've got our foil down. So I'm going to move my laminator. I'll move you guys over to the laminator. Okay. All right. We've got the laminator here. It's go time. I'm a little nervous. Because I'm actually kind of, whatever. It's in God's hands now. <laughs> Once it gets in there, ain't nothing else I could do about it. Okay. It's going through. And it's like watching paint dry. Okay. I'm scared. It doesn't smell like anything burning. Anybody else do that? Like when you, it is, it's above me now. Okay. Sometimes when you do stuff, it's just like, what can you do? Oh, I'm going to plan all these things. At a certain point, you got to turn it loose, boo. It's above me now. <laughs> so let's see what we got happening. All right. My fingers crossed too. I'm scared. All right. So, oh, it didn't work. That was a bust. Nothing happened. All right. So now I'm going to consult Google because I can heat emboss like it's nobody's business. So I, but I wonder. Hmm. So no laser, <laughs> no toner foiling, which is where the foil tool comes into place, right? Like whatever, frugal foil, foil without a laminator and a toner printer. So I feel like wow, DIY foil prints, but I think she's using the toner pens, which I, which, so the issue with that is that you can't find these toner pens anywhere anymore. So yes, they are a thing, but you can't find them anywhere anymore. Um, so what's method one? Ah, boo, whatever. Okay, so let's think about this. Let me let me think on my feet real quick. Cause it didn't work. Oh, but guess what? Guess what's booted up now? My computer. So let's just So that didn't work. I kind of I still kinda wanna try this out though. Okay, so I'm not gonna give up on this that science experiment just yet, because just because that one didn't work doesn't mean that this way won't. Because this is a bit more wet, if you will. Oh, well, look at that. We'll just do a little. Oh, hello. That's dangerous. I don't think that's supposed to shoot out of there like that. <laughs> Ooh. All right. So this is just the Stampendous. This is embossing ink. It might not work, but we're gonna shoot our shot, okay? This one is the, which foil is that? Can you tell? So this one is the Atlas. So this is Heidi Swap. All right, we're gonna migrate back on over to the laminator. And so we're using the clear embossing ink to see if we could foil with that. But you know, that might not work either. 
I'm not. I'm not losing any sleep at this point. <laughs> Let me tell you what I'm not going to do. I'm not going to panic on the internet. But now I just get to go on a hunt for... Um, Cause I really don't. I really don't want to buy a laser printer. <laughs> oh man! Just the idea of getting a laser printer just really sends me through a thing. So, um, yeah. Anyhow, I uh, we're gonna try this out, and if it doesn't work, I'm just gonna bring my laptop over here, and we're gonna go back to what the original plan was. Because sometimes you have crafting fails. And sometimes you have a fail on the internet in real time. Nope, that didn't work either. All right. So I got to get my hands on. Let's see. Let's, hold my dog. I turned my laminator off. But let's see where, if we can. That's what I'm saying. HP has that compact one. But that compact the printer is still like $110. Right, I can show you and I can show you guys which one she's talking about because this is the that's the one I've been eyeballing because it's so small. It's the like the if you type in HP mini laser is this one. The HP laser jet pro M15 itty bitty wireless printer. The little laser printer. This is it. This is the one. Yeah, see, and there was a couple people getting them for like under a hundred dollars. And when I saw them, I was like, oh no, I don't, oh no, I don't need it. <laughs> and look, I need it. So this is the printer. Um, so it's a little, it's a very small laser printer, super compact. I've read good things about it. Like it's not like I um. It's not like it's a, one of those things that are like gimmicky, like HP, like my, my current printer is an HP printer. All of my printers, all of, all of my printing life have been HP printers. So I'm generally brand loyal in that way. So I can say that this is the one that I want specifically. Um, and I'm pretty sure I could probably like scour somebody's internet, Facebook marketplace, something somewhere to find it, but whatever. So I'm going to move on from this. Try to put some of this stuff away. I'm going to keep that out because I need it. All right. And we're back to our originally scheduled program, which is using the foil transfer tool. I, you know, I might, I might not. I don't know if I'm going to be that committed. <laughs> okay. This will be, I think this will be the second Christmas. <laughs> it's Christmas number two. That this printer that I'm just kind of like, ah. And that's just because, like, I've got another, like, I've got another printer, right? Like, it's just, there's one thing to, like, I, and I enjoy crafting. I do. Um, but what I don't want to do is have way more stuff than I have space for, which is kind of an issue that I'm already, that I've already run into. Um, so I try to be mindful of, like, the things that I'm going to buy. I mean, edit videos, but now, you know, tomorrow you need to schedule some time to get some foiling in. Boom. There you go. All right. So back to the original plan. All right. So let's hope, let's hope that we now have smooth sailing. All right. That's to the crafting gods. <laughs> I need smooth sailing because I really like that ginkgo leaf. I thought it was really pretty. Right. So yeah. Like you look up, like I'm, I'm looking at my cricket, my cuddle bug, and then my printer. And then like, and, it, and not to mention, like I got this box of stuff that I bought when, like when I was doing vendor fairs and I don't have anywhere for that vendor fair stuff to go. So it's just a box sitting outside of like just sitting in my craft space and just, ah, ah, right. And my craft space is in my dining room. So it's not like I have like a dedicated room for like my crafting stuff. Um, and this is my very messy desktop. This was the, I made this wallpaper um, during quarantine and I just haven't changed it because I worked really hard on that. Okay. 
So, you know. I'm waiting on design space to open up. I'm using a Windows 10 computer. Um, it's it's old, but it gets the job done. Also, like, and then you end up with a whole bunch of... So, like, Adobe Illustrator released on the iPad today. Thank you. Um, Adobe Illustrator released on the iPad today, and I was playing around with it. And I'm just kind of like, oh, this doesn't do what I thought I wanted it to do. I was really excited about it, but I can't do, like, image trace on the iPad, which is, like, the one feature that I was really hoping that they had. They don't have, unless I haven't figured out how to do it. Um, so now it's like I have to figure out how to, <laughs> how to letter in Illustrator on the iPad. Like all the things you don't really plan on learning, right? Just that you have to learn. Anyway, let's blow this up. Let's get this show on the road. So I thought about seeing if there was a way that I could. So this was the SVG that went up on the blog last week. Um, and I was thinking about if there was a way that I could foil these leaves. See if I could get Cricut to cut out and foil those instead of using the like one of the designs that I, you just find in design space you know what all right this is what we about to do we'll do it two ways i'll do both of them okay so i got a new canvas we're gonna go images because that was a ginkgo leaf that i found initially Okay. Give it to me. Or not. Alright, cool. Because it was a foiling hmm, material. No, nah, none of those are foil. Foiling. Let's see if this would give it to me. And I also think that wallpaper might be on my website. I could be lying. <laughs> I could be telling a, a falsehood. All right, so that's a wash. Projects. Ginkgo. Okay, foil. All right. All right, and it was like home decor. Is it decor or decor? Pow, here we go. This is the one that I was looking at. We're gonna customize it. Our project already is this replace. I don't even know what that project is. We'll live our best lives tonight, all right? Okay. So now what I want to see is, you guys, this is the, like the perk and drawback of crafting in real time. Um, okay. So this is what this looks like. All right. So foil bold, so it cuts and then foils. All right, so I have a question then. If I duplicate this, can I turn this into just a cut file? Hold on, let's see. <laughs> so line type, cut. Um, no fill. Okay. All right, so the plan I the think, what I think is happening will happen, I think. The issue though is that this back one, it so let's change the contour then. Okay. So, because I don't want to cut all these lines. So I'm going to hide all contours. All right. So here I just want to cut the outside. So it's just this big line for that one this one. No, not that one. I hide all contours. So it's, now what happens if I, 
Okay. All right. So we're we're getting somewhere. <laughs> I'm making progress. Okay. So that. Cool. This. Bet. Set. Close. Boom. Okay. All right. So this is going to cut. Right? So can I then align these? You guys see what I'm getting at, right? Like I want to, so I'm gonna select these two. I want to, oh, I have to ungroup this. I need to zoom out so you guys can see what I'm doing. Okay. So I've selected, so we were able to adjust the contour so that it'll cut. So I'm gonna select these two and align them. Oh, I can't align it because it's still grouped, so I'm going to detach it. Wow, there we go. I'm going to move this down. So arrange, send to back. All right, so we're going to align, we're going to center these. Okay, so now I'm going to select the one that I'm going to cut and this background. I'm going to slice it. Oh, okay, 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 okay. So when I sliced it, it only sliced this one. So I'm curious about that big leaf. You know what? We just, we're just going to ride the wave today. That's it. That's all. Everything else is just way too stressful. Okay. So I'm going to delete this because I don't, I don't necessarily need this piece because I'm not making home decor. I just really want the leaves by themselves. So this is going to foil. And in my mind, this is going to cut. All right. I think that's how that works. You'll want to put the foil on the top layer and attach. So you're saying, oh, so line it up like this. So select these, align, do, 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 center, go away notification, and attach. Oh, I see what you're saying, because it'll do it all on the same, it'll like foil it and then cut it out. I got you, I got you. Okay, so technically, we're good to go. I'm going to do this on black paper. And actually, the, the, because I don't have a gold paint pen, um, we're going to do this in silver foil instead of, we're going to do this in silver foil instead of in the gold foil because I don't have a pen that matches that, okay? So, I'm going to click make it. Ooh, okay, life hack. Before you do any, before you make any project on Cricut Design Space, pretty please click save. Because if you don't, you will be salty. I have learned that the hard way, okay? All right, so now we're going to click make it. My Cricut Maker is already on. Um, so we don't, I don't have to necessarily worry about that. My paper size is 8.5 by 11. Okay. So... Wait a minute, let's go back because I don't know how big my foil sheets are. Let's look at this. I don't think that's four by six. Y'all think that's four by six? I could be drunk, but I don't think that's four by six. Let's see. Does it say? Uh, how long is it? Let's get started. First of all, okay, I, I look at it, it's in centimeters. Who measures in centimeters? Everywhere else, that's not the U.S. Okay, it's four by six. I was right. Thanks, Naomi. So it's four by six. So I need to make sure that my leaves are the six by, no, these are too big. Because then the bigger the sheets, or the bigger your foil project is going to require you to use more than one sheet. So we're going to cancel this, and then we're going to scale this down. 
right this is six by eight i want the height on this to be 5.5 humor me all right make it we're gonna save it save and then make it oh wait a minute the width is four inches i lied so this is got to be let's go 3.75 just the way i could fit inside of the space that i've got right okay so make it my paper size is eight and a half by 11 regular regular this is black card stack we're going to be using okay so now what you have to do though is so we're going to go continue so what it's going to have you do at least from the instructions that i watched in the video is that you're going to tape your foil down on top of your cardstock and then it's going to foil it and then cut it right i think that's i want to say i'm right but you know we're going to find out today okay we're gonna we're learning something new all right Ooh, get off oh i kind of think they should have doubled up the envelope situation okay all right cool let's check to see if my cricket is on it was on it should be on i'm not gonna panic because i've got a little bit of time i just didn't want to you know i just you know I try to be respectful of people's time okay because let's see show bluetooth devices because i don't know why my cricket didn't connect oh I'm about to go through all the trouble. It's not on. So I'm gonna migrate over here, turn it on. Okay. All right, Cricket is on. So lately my preferred mat for my projects has been my light grip mat. Um, so I grabbed my light grip mat while I was over there. We're going to go ahead and tap refresh. Select device, maker. All right, cool. We're good to go. The little light on top of my Cricut turned blue. So we are set. All right. So this is medium cardstock. Okay. So I'm going to do, I'm going to, I have a question and I guess it would be for Naomi. Do you change the pressure or do you leave it at default? I'm a little stressed out about that. Anyway. Um, so where's my, all right. So we've got our tool and it says you're going to use the bowl tip. So the one with three lines. Oh, that's, it's got a little, little situation. So if you guys can see fine tip, medium tip, and then bold. So we're going to use the bold one. We're going to use this big fella right here. Okay. And then our housing. And like the Cricut blades, it's looking like you just kind of drop that in there. And it's, a, it's got a magnet, so you hear it. Like, like the regular Cricut blades, you kind of hear it when it like sets itself in there. So it's a magnet. It's a really simple, it's a really simple put together. So no tool required in clamp A. This goes in clamp B, but we're going to tape our foil down. So I realized I probably should have moved this project over on the canvas a little bit. Can I edit it? I can. Can I? There we go. So we're going to move that over just a little bit. So that I have a somewhat of a better idea as to where this is going to sit on the page. But probably not. It's whatever. Done. All right. So we're going to tape that down with like the foil, kind of the foily side down. 
right i want to say it's about here you know we'll find out when i have a three-quarter foiled project okay and then i'm going to take you guys over to my cricket but i'm telling you right now like don't judge me all right that's a little it's a wee bit chaotic over there and so i'm also just like i'm not going to waste all these strips um waste all the tape strips so i'm going to go ahead and cut that one in half because you get 12 right one i might oh nuts one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve yeah you get 12 um but you know someone i was reading on the cricut website you know can you use washi tape or cricut or can you use washi tape or painter's tape and cricut was like well not necessarily because you know the foil is meant to be used with you know the proprietary proprietary whoa so i'm gonna use what it comes with this go round until i am able to crack the code okay and the moment i figure that out guess what i'm gonna let y'all know okay so this is all set so we're gonna put this in clamp b nothing's happening without having this on the mat right okay you know it's a little crooked but i'll be okay progress not perfection all right, and so let's let's travel. Okay, you guys, are, you're gonna look at my. Oh no, I'm about to break my own neck because everything is wrapped around everything. Hold on. All right. Sorry about this. All right. Okay. So that's my Dollar Tree bag because inside of there are like the acrylic frames that I bought to do like, you know, when everybody was making those like soundtrack things. Dollar Tree, I bought the stuff. Have I made it? Of course not. Cricket. This is my maker. And this is where it lives on the side of my table. It's got, I've got like space back there for it to do its thing. So this is clamp B, clamp A, clamp B. Whoops. So this is just a regular blade housing. Drop that in there. Okay. Oh man, let me tell you. So I bought this. Is this the one? I thought I was buying the scoring wheel. I ended up buying the perforation blade. Like just y'all. Anyway, so we're going to put the foiling piece in housing B because what's going to happen is that after it foils, I don't know if I'm going to have to remove the foil. We'll find out. We'll just follow the instructions. Okay. Whoops. All right. So I've got it in there and I'm going to go ahead and push this blinking button right, right here. Okay. And then I'm assuming that this button, right? The go button is going to blink. Ooh, I don't like that sound. All right, this is a bit of a, it seems, I don't know. I guess I, I forever, I thought it would be faster. Ooh, ooh. Ooh, and I left it on default pressure. So this is just kind of scary. Oh, maybe I didn't tape it down the right way. Y'all, let me tell you something. It's it's coming up, but that's because I didn't tape it down enough. 
I want to cancel this. I'm not using another sheet. We're going to see what we got because it's not, I didn't take that down all the way. So it is, um, it's coming up. Yes. Okay. Whoops. All right. So I canceled it because as you guys, you can see what happened, right? Like it didn't, um, you see it? It didn't quite, I didn't tape it down enough um, for it to do what it needed to do. So, let's see what we got though. Oh, yeah, like it was doing it. It did it, right, to a certain degree. But because it, um, like I said, I didn't tape this down so it right here, I didn't tape it straight. And so the pressure from the foiling tip lifted, lifted the foil and crumpled it up and messed up the foil. But so what we're going to do now, I'm going to put you back on here. So, you know, we attempted it. it <laughs> I attempted it. I'm going to pat myself on the back for that. Right. Um, so then what you're going to do is take that off of here, right? We're going to assume that this is a fully finished foil project. Okay. And so I'm going to grab my white pen. Thanks. Thanks. That's what I'm telling myself. Like I'm not, I'm not as uh, disappointed if you will, just cause it's my, it's my first time using it. Right. Like it's not, um, I get the, I see the vision. <laughs> I see the vision. I'm picking up what Cricut is trying to put down. I get it. It would be nice if um, there was a non or, or um, like a not proprietary option. Um, and that way, if the sheets were a little bigger, you could, you can experiment with, a, with it a little bit more. Um, like one of the things that I never got was the, uh, the foil pen, the the freestyle, whatever that thing was that we are memory keepers released. Um, just because like it just it was really expensive and whatever. Anyway, so we've got our white pen. Let's try to dust off some of this foil. Those foil remnants. And we're just gonna say uh I don't know, what's a word for like testing? Trials, not trials and tribulations. Um, hmm, then let me make sure my panel, it'll show up on here. Oh, wait a minute now. Hold on. Hold on. All right. So it might not be an oil paint pen because that absorbs into the cardstock. All right. So we're going to get a white gel pen. When I tell you guys I have earned my sleep tonight, okay, I've earned every, y'all, I done found the pen I was looking for. That's a weird green silver situation. Um, what color is this? That's a weird green silver situation. I think my white pen is in here. Maybe I keep my white pen on my person, which seems like a very Lena thing to do. I don't really know why I would need a white pen like out and about. Okay, my white pen isn't there either. Hmm. Okay, let's think about this. So maybe my white pen is over here. Let's see. Ooh. Yes. So my white pen is inside of my marker case. Cool. Thanks, Naomi. I appreciate it. All right. Pow. Found a white pen. All right. And a white pen stands out just fine. 
So I'm actually going to, I'm going to write on the side. Right on the side of the leaf. And this is more um, foligraphy, what I'm doing here. So it's not quite like brush lettering, but it mimics it. Um, and I'm just using a jelly roll pen to um, come through and thicken up what would be downstrokes. And... Um, what would be upstrokes or those are stay thin. I tried. So this is the result of tonight's bedtime crafting. I want to say I have a circle punch that I can. Let's see. Let's see. Because one of the things that happens, like I enjoy a good clip. I love a good hidden paper clip. So let's see. I can say that I'm glad that I rearranged my craft area the way I did. Because at least that way, um, I have a general idea of where my stuff belongs. Where my things live, if you will. Okay, so to get that, we've got to uh, trim that down just to, just to touch so that we can get a uh, close-up on it like that. I tried. So, if you wanted to write, you could, uh, so for a hidden paper clip, which I'm, I've got 800 tutorials on these, I'm sure. And that's because it's such a simple thing to make, right? So you've got, I've got my two circles, right? Um, give me a paper clip, which should be in here. Yep. Give me a paper clip. And all right. Oh nope, that's empty. So how this works is that you'll put the or normally I would use like a little hole punch, but for the sake of like time and my sanity and the mess I'm about to have to clean up. So I'll put the big part on the outside so you turn to a little Pac-Man. A little pack person and then we're going to adhere that together and we've got a little hidden paper clip so let me get some tape you can use like double-sided tape glue whatever your preferred um, adhesive is hot glue is usually um, what I would use but uh, I'm not gonna use a uh, hot glue gun right now <laughs> So we'll use some foam tape, whoa, because it's what I have on hand, right? So a couple strips, a couple nuggets of foam tape, give us a little bit of elevation, right? So we'll, uh oh, what's happening off camera? So that's going to go there like that. And this is going to go there like that. I'm going to cut a little, another little piece just to kind of seal the bottom. All 
All right, so this is what we got. We're gonna go ahead and remove the backing or the, the topping. I'm really struggling with this. Here we go. And then, you've never seen what before? The foam tape or the hidden paper clips? So you're gonna line that up like as best you can. Thank you. And now, boom, we've got a little bookmark hidden paperclip situation. I tried. So I really appreciate you guys tuning in and sticking it out with me tonight because, you know, it can, yeah, I'm just a little rusty. That's all. Um, so my plan for the next four weeks, so this week, Next Wednesday, Wednesday after next, and the following Wednesday, Wednesdays at nine o'clock, um, will be the new bedtime crafting time. So I'm gonna do four weeks on, two weeks off. Um, but yeah, this is it. This is this is our Cricut foiling project of the night. So I will save this live. It's gonna go up on the. I'll be sticking to Wednesday. Yes, I'll be because I get off at six. Um, I get a little bit of time to kind of like come home and tend to my, you know, tend to my family. Like we were all able to eat dinner, um, before we, you know, before I put my daughter down, um, for her to, I think she sleep. I'm about to go find out cause she's good for the pump fake. <laughs> I lay her down and I come in there talking about, I just want, I just want to spend more time with you, mommy. Oh, boss. Um, so I'm going to do some digging around to see about foiling. I'm going to figure out how to foil without getting a laser printer. I'm determined. Um, but on the interim, boom, 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 boom. this is what we got. So I hope you guys have had a good time. I generally had a good time. I'm not even like, I'm not upset. Normally I would be like, <laughs> I'd be like, you know, calm online and then really disappointed when I get off the internet, but I'm okay. Uh, I look forward to cleaning up my space. So next week, it'll be a bit smoother. Oh, yes. You ain't said nothing but a word. I won't be on the YouTubes. I'm going to crack this code, okay? Um, so, yeah. Again, I thank you guys for spending time with me tonight. I really appreciate it. I look forward to seeing you guys next week, same time, 9 p.m. Central Standard Time, for uh, the Bedtime Crafting Pregnancy Reboot. Uh, you guys have a great night. Remember to steal some joy, share some love. Appreciate the ways that you try. And relax. You deserve it. Have a good night. <laughs>